Now, my next guest says the IMF needs to pick a new leader from the developing world. Lauren Saiz is Senior Lecturer in Comparative and International Politics at London School of Oriental and African Studies. He's also an Associate Fellow in International Economics at Research Institute Chatham House. His research focuses on economic reform across industries in developing nations. I'm pleased to say he joins me now to discuss the succession race at the IMF course, one of our top stories throughout the morning. Thank you so much for coming to speak to us. So Christine Lagarde seems to be emerging as the leading contender, at least uh, from the European side. You know, you've got European heavyweights applauding her expertise, even her wit, her negotiating skills. Is she the right candidate? Well, I think it's the right candidate at this moment because right now the, 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 the crisis is really focused on, on replacing the chief and the best person you can replace someone like that uh, under the specific circumstances is someone who, who has her skills but also who's a woman. I think it really is a signal something very strongly from the IMF that they want to remove or to change the, 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 the stance, the ethical stance that they have taken so far with respect to DSK. Do you think there will be an obstacle to a European taking the helm with increasing calls for emerging market countries, really even before this crisis over Dominic Strauss-Kahn, to have more of a say, more of a role uh, in international organizations like the IMF to, in a way, reflect this, this shifting balance of power in the global economy? There has been already some discussion and there's been some, some mild, mild movement in, in that direction. But generally, the, the, uh, what I anticipate will happen is that after the DSK uh, finishes his term, essentially after Lagarde finishes his term for him, uh, then they will reconsider then whether they actually would want to have someone from emerging market for, uh, country uh, to represent the IMF as a, as a managing director. And that's not going to happen. I'm very pessimistic that mm. it's going to happen because these institutions tend to be very conservative about this, uh, these changes. And so since there's been put on, on them is not going to happen now and it, I think it won't happen next year but they'll discuss it which is something that, that they need to do at any rate. So when do you think we might see a candidate for an emerging market country? You said it's not going to happen this year or next year. When might it happen? Probably after the maybe 10 years I think we'll see that happen and most likely... 10 years? Yes, I, mean, I think it's, it's well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pessimist, so yeah, I think right. 10 years will be kind of my timeline. But I think that the, the, the most likely candidate who's, who's going to be a strong challenger is, is from Turkey. Mm. And so uh, Kermal Der Dervish is going to be the, the most likely contender after Lagarde finishes. You think he stands a good chance uh, after uh, uh, Christine right Lagarde? Now. And actually also Turkey's uh, current finance minister is saying that he, he would do a pretty good job too. What I mean, he will, he will be my choice. I, mean, I, I guess someone from Turkey is, is, is interesting because you, you can still say that they're European. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, you have someone who represents uh, an emerging market. And at the same time, you have somebody who, is, who has experienced the, the IMF from the other side. Because a lot of the, the developing countries mm. have a problem with the IMF insofar that they think that they're too technocratic and they don't understand the realities of, of the domestic country uh, from the perspective of the developing country. And so someone from those countries is likely to, to bring a new perspective. Is it important? I mean, Germany's position, a little ambiguous in all of this, but nevertheless, German Chancellor Angela Merkel has argued that Europe's sovereign debt crisis speaks for a European candidate to head the IMF. Does she have a point? Not really. I mean, I think because if, if that were the case, then you would say, well, in the 1990s and the 1980s, you would need to have someone from Asia or Africa uh, to be head of the IMF on the, on the, on the same uh, logic. So I think it, it makes some sense for the position of stability of the Eurozone. But uh, in the long term, I don't think it makes any sense.